comforts of, of being at home. What do you feel like you guys have learned from playing North Carolina you know, three times as you're obviously up and on your way? So that you what have we learned? They're really good. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, we haven't fared, fared too well against them this season. And, you know, I like to think we've learned a little thing every game. Um, but, I mean, they've cakewalked through the league this year. We're, we're definitely peaking at the right time and hopefully give them a go. What makes them dangerous? What are the things that, what are their strengths? Uh, I mean, I think you just need to look at their roster and see the players that are on their team. It seems that every position they have a, a world-class player. And then, I mean, to have someone like Heather O'Reilly coming off the bench, uh, not many teams in this league have that luxury. And then they, I think Paul is able to get the absolute most out of every individual player. And they just seem like, a, in a way, like a, a bunch of different puzzle pieces that just fit perfectly together. They seem to have a, a very unique connection and bond. Um, and then, yeah, just as soccer players, they're, they're quality all over the field. Conversely, what are the thorn strengths? I like to think we're the same. If you look at our, our team, I think we have depth. Um, I think we had some really big injuries early on in the season that sort of hindered us. Um, but I like to think player for player. We're the team in this league that can compete with North Carolina. Yeah, it'll be a battle. How important is that home field advantage that um, you get going to be? I like to think it'll be massive, but the last time they played here, we <laughs> lost 4-1, so <laughs> it didn't help us at all that game. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's just it's knowing that you're playing in front of your friends, your family, and obviously 21,000 Portland supporters gives you that extra energy, that extra motivation, um, but once the whistle blows, it's just 90 minutes of soccer and let the best team win. You um, have been around Portland forever, um, <laughs> forever, forever. Um, why is soccer so special to Portland? I have no idea. In really? The, in the sense, no, I mean, going to university here, I have no idea why they averaged five or 6,000 fans per college game. Um, it just, the fans here are, crazy about their soccer and they always have been and I think it helps that there aren't maybe too many other professional sports around uh, but yeah there's something about this city that and the fans are so passionate and just die hard soccer fans I mean, it, it's it's almost like we're a little European city city you know yeah uh, it's, it's very unique what do you think this team's identity is I just think we'll, we're never, like, never die, never quit. Um, throughout the course of this season, like I said, we start off very slowly, injuries. Uh, I remember thinking partway through the season, like, are we even going to make the playoffs? Just, oh, wow. you know, like, yeah. we were sitting fifth or sixth on the table. Um, and then come crunch time, this team knows knows what to do i mean even the the past two games against seattle being down in each of those games and being able to come back and bounce back and win um, yeah when when our backs are against the wall we have this unique ability to perform 